In the multiplication advantage, the day eight routine is multiplication tile challenges. If you have the book, then you know that every day ending with eight has a different set of shapes, a different clue, and on all pages, students solve to find the total, which is the product. Then, beginning on day 88, each challenge has a different clue, its own clue, so students are multiplying by different numbers. And then, on day 128, the clues become some of the most challenging factors, 6, 7, 8, and 9. As students work with multiplication tile challenges, one of the purposes of this video is to provide five tips that you can use in your classroom. The first tip is to encourage your students to look for groups. In this example, the simplest set of groups is five groups of four. However, you may have some students who think about this very creatively. They may see two groups of eight and one group of four. The next tip is to use multiple colors. In this case, I'll color both groups of eight green and the group of four red. For some students, using color will be very helpful. Tip number three is to encourage creativity. There is not one single way to do this. For one student, it might be easiest to break this into three groups of eight, but another student might see it differently, and for that student, it might be easier to break it into two groups of 12. The fact that students see it differently is very helpful, and it opens up the door for tip number four, which is let students talk about their ideas. This example shows how four different students working with the same shape may see it very differently. In the end, they'll all have the same product, but they have a chance to share their ideas and their thinking with each other. And that brings us to tip number five, have students use the answer key. The pages are marked clearly, so it's very easy to find the keys. When students have completed the page, they simply slide the answer key next to their answers to check to see if they are correct. Of course, the answer key provides immediate feedback regarding whether the answer is correct, but most importantly, it lets the students know that their thinking about multiplication is effective. Multiplication tile challenges are found on every day ending with eight, beginning with chapter three through chapter 15. The five tips for multiplication tile challenges are encourage students to look for groups and use multiple colors. Encourage creativity, which is a powerful way to learn. Let students talk about their ideas and have students use the answer key to validate all of their thinking on the page.